Welcome back to another gear review. It's been a few weeks and I've been working on some snowboard clips, but in the meantime, figured I'd do another gear review. And this time we're talking about pants. Today I wanted to talk about my favorite pair of pants and in my humble, adventurous, completely non-professional opinion, uh, basically the only pair of pants that you'd ever need to buy. So today we are talking about the Dewar No Sweat Pants. Just a little disclaimer, I have had both of these pair of pants, the jeans and then just the uh, kind of brown khakis um, for over a year now. So I did not just receive these and I'm not reviewing them right as I got them. I have put a year of use into them. You probably can't tell, but down below, I'm also wearing the Dewar No Sweat Joggers. Side pocket action, it's pretty cool. Absolutely best adventure pants you could buy. They're expensive, but worth it. As I always say, I'm not really a professional reviewer, not even close. I just am an average guy that wears stuff out doing adventurous things. And these are my favorite pants to adventure in. So like I said, had them over a year. I've had absolutely no problems with wear and tear. They're super durable. These pants are really comfortable, really stretchy. One thing I love about them is the bottom, the cuffs are straight leg. So they have a really nice um, kind of straight feel. It's not baggy, I hate the little kind of cowboy weird looking ones that open up at the bottom. There's some term for it, but I don't know what it is. I do not like those. So these are both straight um, and I'll put them on in a sec so you can get a look. And then the joggers obviously have the cuff. I think the best feature though hands down is the kind of crotch lining, the crotch stitching. So let's see if you can see this. Um, there is this wide section here where this is where the crotch is. So imagine right here and they've got this stitching that kind of starts here and it goes and expands out and then comes back. So it creates this kind of midsection right in here that is hands down the stretchiest, most comfortable, agile section, crotch section, I guess, of a pant I've ever worn. I mean, you could do freaking, I don't know, backflips or whatever, or something in these. It's my favorite feature, but just good looking pants. Like I said, straight at the bottom. Really good material. All the same pockets you'd have on just like normal pair of jeans.
sizing, I actually went with my normal jean pant size. Um, so if you're questioning size, definitely go with what you normally do. Um, I've had no problems with shrinkage in the wash. So I have always hated that when you buy a perfect fitting pair of pants and then you wash them and they come out and they don't fit like they did when you first put them on. Not the case. Pants aren't there anymore. Uh, not the case with these guys. Honestly, every time after a new wash, put them on, they fit just like they did before. So that's one thing that's been super awesome with these two. So yeah, when you're considering sizing, just go with your normal size and they should fit. Not too baggy, just a perfect kind of standard fit. They got different sizing options too. I think like they probably offer slim and relaxed. I always go kind of a straight, relaxed feel. Um, and that always does me well. So I've talked a lot about the pants, the brown pants and the jeans, but I wanted to also talk about the joggers in case you're considering those. These three, the absolute only pants I need. Drawstring to tighten it. You got belt loops. So if you need a belt, you can do belt loops. I just usually use the draw cord. That does well enough for me keeping things up. Um, like I said, same material as the pants. They kind of got this stitching line that runs here that is not over here. And I think that it's, I don't know. Oh, it's, I think it's for this pocket. They so gotta have that to differentiate between this pocket and the lower. Uh, another call out, you do have the option to button the pockets. So things, keep things in there nice. Nothing's falling out when you're adventuring. It's like that on both. So you got one on each side. Uh, it's got the same, this is the weirdest angle, looking at my balls, but hope you enjoy this view. But it has the same crotch stitching. So that area, I think it's like that on all the pants. So those are my three favorite pants that I own. And I honestly have a lot of pants. I've got Lululemon, Patagonia, different kinds of jeans. I've always hated pants shopping and jean buying because I buy a pair and they never fit the same. Not anymore. I know that these pants are really expensive. I first found out about them when I was at REI and I was looking for new pants and I saw these and figured I'd try them. And I originally started with these brown pants and then I added a pair of jeans and then a couple months ago I added the joggers. Really when I was looking for pants, I was in search of a do it all kind of pant. So just kind of a one stop adventure pant that I could use for everything. That's kind of what I just like in terms of gear and clothing. Yeah, it was really expensive for the three pairs that I own, but they're gonna last me years and years. And that's while I'm putting them out on adventures and actually doing stuff. I'm not here wearing just a $40 pair of Levi's that get a rip or wear out in the crotch after a couple months. No, these guys I wear every day. Whether we're surfing, we're out on a snowboard mission, we're just out hiking, camping, whatever it is, I'm bringing these guys. Uh, there's my hype for the doer pants. I really mean it when I say that I'm not gonna be buying any different kind of pants from now on. I'm gonna go with doer because I've put them to the test for over a year and I really couldn't be happier or get anything more out of a pant than these guys. So they have my vote. And if you're on the fence, just think about it. Buy them from REI because you can return them. No questions asked for a year or so. If you wear them for a couple months and you don't like them, just return them and get something else. But they've got my vote and hopefully this video was helpful and gave you some insight into these pants and just how awesome they are. If I've forgotten anything because I'm just a basic adventurer talking about pants in the most common non-technical terms. So 
If I said something that didn't make sense, just leave me a comment. Or if there's another question that I didn't go over, also drop me a comment and I will definitely respond and we can dialogue on these pants and, and whatever other adventure gear comes up. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Hopefully some snowboard clips and a pretty cool edit coming out soon. So see you next time. Yo.